Hello everyone! Today we're going to deal with some exercises about vocabulary, grammar and also some cross-curricular activities. Let's start! Now, the first exercises will be about vocabulary. The first one, match the words to create jobs. And you got estate, flight, taxi, fire, medical, fashion, hour and sales. And you're going to match them with the words driver, guide, researcher, agent, assistant, fighter, attendant, and designer. While the next exercise is about filling the gaps with the words perfectionist, relaxed, sensible, good natures, and self-conscious. While I read them, try to think and focus which should be the right one. Firefighters need to be when taking risks. Au pairs need to be, as looking after children is often stressful. Tour guides cannot be because they have to talk in front of large groups of people. Fashion designers are often who want their creations to be as good as possible. Flight attendants should be and polite even when they have to deal with difficult passengers. Did you think about the answers? If yes, Let's check them together. The first ones are estate agent, flight attendant, a taxi driver, a firefighter, a medical researcher, fashion designer, tour guide, and sales assistant. While in the next sentences of exercise number two, the sentences will be firefighters need to be sensible when taking risks, au pairs need to be relaxed, as looking after children is often stressful, tour guides cannot be self-conscious because they have to talk in front of large groups of people, fashion designers are often perfectionists who want their creations to be as good as possible, and the last one, flight attendants should be good-natured and polite, even when they have to deal with difficult passengers. Now, the next exercise deals with grammar. I want you to have a look at that and try to think about the right answer. You choose the correct form. Trains to Brighton every hour, which should be the correct one. Run, have run, are running or will have run. Jeremy will hand in his notice as soon as he a new job. Will it be will find, finds, will be finding or is finding? The third sentence, Helen has filled in the job application. Already, so far, yet, or ever. The fourth one, Mr. Burns, our summer field offices. You can call him there. So, will you say Mr. Burns has been, has gone to, has gone at, or has been to? And the last one, Kevin, to be a very sensible person, is appearing, will appear, has appeared, or appears? Which are your answers? These are the right ones. Let's check them together. So, trains to Brighton run every hour. It's a matter of transport and you use the present simple tense. Jeremy will hand in his notice as soon as he finds a job. Please remember, with words of time, such as when, as soon as, until, after, etc., you always use a present tense. Helen has filled in the job application. Of course, has already filled in the job application. It's a matter of meaning. Mr. Burns has gone to our summer field offices. You can call him there. Remember the difference between has gone and has been. If you say has gone, that means at the moment he or she is there. While if you say has been, that's an experience. He or she has been there once or twice and is back. And the last one, Kevin, to be a very sensible person, that's Kevin appears to be a very sensible person. It's a very general one. Now, here is an exercise about language knowledge. Complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first sentence. Use two to five words. 
When dealing with similar exercises, you should bear in mind some things. First one, you cannot use more than five words. You must not change the word given. And also, please remember that the abbreviations such as did not, have not, etc. count as two words apart from can't. Can't counts for one word only. Now, read the sentences and try to transform them. These shoes are too expensive for me to buy. You should use not. And look at the sentence here. How should you transform that using not? His trainer advised him to take up weightlifting. Now, using would. Look at the sentence given. If, take up weightlifting. Nobody apart from her sister supported her. You should use the word person. And her sister supported her. They say treasure was discovered in the desert. And you should say, or better, you should use the word said. Treasure is in the desert. And the last one, spaghetti bolognese, was my favorite dish at Tony's restaurant. And you must use the word liked. Spaghetti bolognese was the at Tony's restaurant. Now, did you think about the answers? Are you ready to check them together? This is how they should be. These shoes are not cheap enough for me to buy. His trainer advised him to take up weightlifting, including wood. This would become, if I were you, I would take up weightlifting, his trainer told him. Nobody apart from her sister supported her. And it becomes, her sister was the only person who supported her. Then the fifth sentence using said becomes, the treasure is said to have been discovered. Be careful with the tense you use. Spaghetti bolognese was my favorite dish at Tony's restaurant. And using the word like, it becomes spaghetti bolognese was the dish I liked the most at Tony's restaurant. Now, in the cross-curricular activity, we're going to deal with some C uh, CVs. Now, sooner or later, you will all come across a CV. You will have to make one or you will read CVs. Now, how can you do that? Please remember these things about the CV. It presents your background and abilities in detail. It includes your name, contact info, education, skills, experience, and interests. Accurate spelling is very important. And you should list the information in chronological order, starting from the most recent date. Now, regarding the structure of CV, here is how you can do it. First of all, write the personal details, then write about your education, then its employment, then you will include other skills, for example, computer skills or languages, personal interests and achievements, and lastly, referees from the other employers. This was all we had prepared for you today. Thank you all for your attention.